attention, everyone. We have an update. Um, I got a call from the cancer people. There were two appointments left before the end of the year for the type of radiation that Jolie needs. I hadn't took the December 11th appointment to get her radiation done. The only catch is we haven't quite hit the goal yet. So for anyone who's been thinking about it, like, we have a deadline. So, um, very exciting stuff. We're going to be able to get her radiation done. Um, and hopefully with your help, we can get really close to the goal. Um, so thank you guys all in advance. I'm Jamie Maldonado. We're about to take a look at my trip to Arizona, including a portrait session with comedians April and Becky. Also, a quick look at a David Hockney exhibition, including a few of his uh, historic and very important photo collages. After last week's California Adventures, which hopefully you caught, if not, check the card. I flew out to Phoenix, Arizona for a couple days to meet up with some friends and take pictures with April and Becky. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications, like the video, comment. I've been getting a lot of comments and they've been a lot of fun, so I really appreciate that you're doing that. So yeah, let's check out my portrait session with April and Becky. I will preface this by saying that we shopped for a majority of these clothes at a local thrift store right before the shoot. And it was kind of fun because it gave me a chance to get a... I would met April before, but I had never met Becky. So it gave us a chance to kind of get into each other's head spaces. So... Things like that can help you connect with your subjects. So that's, I guess, my tip for this. And let's check out what we did. Becky and April are a comedy duo from the Phoenix, Arizona area. I've known April for a while, and we've even shot a few comedy videos in the Tyler area a few years back. I had been trying to work with her, and in the meantime, she's teamed up with Becky, and they need some promotional photos for their booking and stuff like that, and for our, their Instagram. We settled on a general 1980s theme. The first setup involved a power casual look for Becky and a somewhat uh, hip ensemble for April. Since the 1980s were all about money, we had them throwing around some cash. No cash was injured in the making of these photographs. April and I had spotted this street lined with palm trees on the way to meet up with Becky and we decided that this would do well for a location. The sun was a bit harsh in, at, at this point, but my usual backlighting approach once again worked out well for them, in my opinion. These were much more about Becky and April and not about their location, so it really didn't need much out of the environment, but that's not completely true about the second set of images that we made. For those images, we stuck to the 1980s, but with a more active twist. April opted for a hip-hop inspired look, I guess you would call it that. And Becky took up some sweet roller skates that we found at the thrift store. We also made sure to take individual photographs, and I especially enjoyed shooting this wardrobe, op wardrobe option with Becky, who brought the perfect energy to this uh, kind of beach girl look. Becky, like I was in Los Angeles, was not an adept roller skater, but she toughed it out and managed to get around enough for us to take various photos in this area around these palm trees and by the street. Thankfully, the street was not particularly busy, so we were able to snap some images in the middle of the, the row of palms. It was nice to meet Becky and see how much April has grown as an artist since I last worked with her. It was also nice to see her on a friend level as well which is always great when you can mix friendship and travel and photography all in one. And that's what these this whole week and these two trips were all about. So um, hopefully you enjoy the photos. I haven't quite finished them, but hopefully Becky and April also enjoy the photos. You should check out their work on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and wherever else. Uh, I'll link everything I can down below. 
And if you're in the Phoenix, Arizona area, definitely make sure you catch them. And from there, we decided to go with a workout video aesthetic. And well, I'll actually let them do the talking here. From there, I took a trip to the Heard Museum to see, among other things, a collection of David Hockney's work. He's known for his experimental work in painting and photography, and I've admired his collage work in photography for some time now. I had never seen one in person until this show, though, where three of his assemblages were on display. I was stunned to realize that they were basically just a step above drug store prints, cre creatively conceived and arranged and then glued to paper, or I'm, I'm assuming glued, or maybe he adhered them with wax or something. That's a not a remark about the quality of the prints, or but more about the general size and style of print. They're basically, they look kind of like 5x7 prints. The thoughtful arrangement and the work it must have taken to shoot these images in a way that they would assemble like this later is really inspiring. Uh, I would love to see more of his work in person, and hopefully I'll have more time to do that soon enough. I'd especially love to see his painting. But alas, I was burned out and ready to see my home and puppies. So it was back to Texas after a very long week. If you like trip recaps like this and insights into my creative process, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications and keep coming back because I have some really fun things planned in the year. Thanks. Bye.